Sydney is not the easiest place to get around, but its public transport network is reliable, reasonably priced and way more convenient than driving. To use the network, you'll either need to purchase an Opal card or use contactless credit card, debit card or smartphone. You can pick up an Opal card at a ticket machine at most stations, as well as supermarkets and news agents. There's no charge for an Opal card, however the minimum value is $20 for an adult and $10 for a child or youth. If you only need a one-off train journey, you can also buy that from the ticket machine. Daily and weekly fare charges are capped at $16.80 on a weekday and $50 for the whole week. On weekends, the daily fare is half. One of the most efficient ways to get around Sydney is by train. But one of the easiest ways to get around the city is by hopping on the City Circle Line. Trains run between the city and most suburbs over an intensive network, with most running around the city circle. An adult Opal fare can range from $3.79 to $9.31 during peak times, and $2.65 to $6.51 for off-peak travel. Other lines travel as far as Blue Mountains, South Coast and Newcastle. Inner city trains tend to be a bit more comfortable, with seating that can be changed to face the direction of travel. The newest addition to the rail network is the fully automated high frequency metro line. An ambitious extension program is underway that will see more new metro lines constructed and some suburban rail lines converted to metro lines. Another easy way to explore the city is via Sydney's light rail. These are relatively new but Sydney had an extensive tram network from the 1870s to 1961. Today there are three main lines linking up to the city. The Circular Quay, Randwick to the east and Dulwich Hill to the west. Some might think this is a tram but as it has a dedicated track in some parts, this technically makes it a light rail. It's the same thing, just remember to tap on and tap off. There's even a line in Newcastle. Your Opal card will also work on this. Adult light rail fares range from $3.20 to $5.05 .05 for peak travel and $2.24 to $3.53 for non-peak travel. Sydney has a very widespread bus system, which allows passengers to easily travel around the city, as well as to the inner suburbs. You tap on when you board, but remember to tap off when you get off the bus, or you'll be charged the maximum fare. There are some places only accessible by bus. For example, Bondi Beach can only be reached by bus. With the northern beaches having its own dedicated service called B Line. A fleet of modern yellow double deck buses provide frequent and reliable services across the bridge, stopping at some of the best beaches in Sydney along the way. Bus fares are the same as the light rail, with an adult peak time fare costing $3.20 to $5.05 .05, and 
and $2.24 to $3.53 for non-peak times. Sydney has the inconvenience of having one of the most beautiful harbours in the world in the middle of it. And though you can, you don't need your own boat to cruise around it. The main hub is at Circular Quay, where you can cruise to eight major destinations, including Taronga Zoo, Barangaroo Reserve, Luna Park, Darling Harbour and Manly. There's even a ferry that cruises down the river to Parramatta. There's no peak fares on the ferry, with adult fares ranging between $6.43 to $8.04. The Manly Ferry is a must-do, offering amazing views of the water and just a 30-minute trip from the city to the beach. The view you get on the way back into the harbour is not to be missed. We really are blessed to have such amazing scenery on what's just a regular commute to some. can of course see some of the best spots in Sydney by foot. And while Sydney is a bit too big to explore all of it, you can easily walk from the Royal Botanic Gardens to Circular Quay, then up to Darling Harbour and across to Chinatown, all in one day. I hope this video helped you in some way, and if it did, please remember to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Thanks for watching.